Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and I just got word that I've got some new Kingdom Death stuff coming in the mail and realized, well, crap, I never even opened these yet. Uh, what's wrong with me? How did that happen? I don't know. But today we're going to take a look at the Caster Hunter and a White Lion variation whose name I don't remember. White Sun Lion Armor, yeah, that's what this is, it's the White Sun Lion Armor. I knew that. <laughs> okay, so this is a photo resin kit. Cool. I don't mind that. I know there's been much discussion and debate online over whether or not these are easier to work with or not. Very ninja like. You can see it has open sides there. Well, no, it's just the front period. This is a Kingdom Death figure. What do you guys expect, right? At least there is some contact with the base. That's a pros. I was going to say pros. Prius. I don't know what I'm saying. I wonder if these little doodads are supposed to be hanging on the hair there. That's pretty hardcore. Are those just leftover supports? I don't know. I will find out. Interesting tuning fork like weapon after having just watched Archive 81. Tuning forks are stuck in my head. Interesting. And as always, a lantern. To keep things lit. So here we have the Sunlight Armor. Beta testing. I know some people go goo goo ga ga crazy over getting those. I dig the artwork though. She definitely does have a ninja vibe going on. It's like a giant like kunai or something. So that makes sense. Number 281 is mine, not yours. And we have a Sunlion mask. Cool. And as always. What's neat? She's got the mask down in that picture, but it's up in that one. Do we have an option, or is the head just going to have the mask on no matter what? Okay. That mask is molded on. I can't get the back open. <laughs> I'm trying. And, oh, there we go. We did it finally. I was just about to give up all hope. And, okay. Definitely some cleanup necessary, but that's always the case with the photo resin models. They're basically super fancy 3D printed figures, much better than I could print, so, you know, we'll deal with it. I personally find it very cathartic having to trim these, so maybe I'm just weird. But it's the same thing for me when regular model kits, too. So, yeah, I'll just chalk that one up to me being weird. So you can see here that the head is a single piece. Bit of a shame. Would have been nice to have an extra mask included. Nice sculpting as always. Look at all the super glue I just got on my fingers prior to filming this. Nice. And then we have the Caster Hunter. This is part of the generic line. And I got number 93. Sorry, no number ones this time around. And she looks like a total soldier lady. Almost looks like something you'd see out of Limbo Division 209, but nope, this is pure kingdom depth. Let's take a look at that rifle. Interesting, it's got like these little floaty crystal bits and some kind of weird energy reservoir tank on her back. The figure itself makes me think of a colonial marine, and I don't know why, maybe it's just the overall style, but this is a very Kingdom Death looking model that doesn't want to stay in focus. So I'm not going to have any crazy fancy looking floaty bits in those containers, I'll tell you that much because I'm not that good a painter, but eh, maybe we'll give it a try. I'm guessing that hose is going to connect to the rifle. Interesting. Fight with the bag again. Damn your boots and your tiny bags. My fat big fingers. Oh boy. You know what I hate? Gluing hoses on resin models. It's probably going to have to get heated up or just ignore it altogether. That's always an option as well. Again, much like the sun line, we're going to have to do some cleanup here and there of those support bits, but I have no issue with that. Oh, cool, they did actually get that molded in there. It's a big gun, actually. Quite large. Quite elaborate and 
elegant looking as well. I'm assuming it is powered by that little orb thing, but where is that tube going to go? Because it looks like there's like a separate ammo supply right here. Is it supposed to go underneath it? I'll have to look at the photos online. I can't recall. She looks like she's going to be big too. Well, you know what that means. Time for me to grab these ladies, get them put together, and we'll see how they turn out. Hopefully without me breaking or losing anything, right? Fingers crossed there. Sit tight, we'll get them all done. Okay, we got our new ladies all put together here, and that wasn't that hard. Let's see if I can zoom in without the camera being stupid. Haha, <laughs> that chance of that. So definitely we got a whole lot of ninja motif going on here. Thankfully, there was enough space for us to actually glue her feet onto the base. That's always a plus. And personally, I, I know it looks pretty big. It is. Uh, I like that fact. Woohoo! And she survived unscathed. Uh, I do like the fact that they're a little bit larger. I know some people are sticklers for size and don't like when models from the same line start to shift. Uh, personally, it doesn't bother me. I, I like the level of detail. So you can really see it there. This is the original uh, Black Friday Ninja. I thought I grabbed a white knight, not white knight, white lion. I did, I did, aha, there you are, okay. So just for comparison's sake, a regular white lion versus white sun lion. She's a lot bigger. But then again, honestly, the original armor kit's kind of small. And then we have, I forget what she was called, like some kind of caster or something. She looks like a ghostbuster with that backpack. She is big. I think I said that before. She is quite large even in terms of a kingdom death model i like to pull out the sniper who i thought also is quite a chunky model for a kingdom death figure but then again this is resin so no i take that back this is photo resin i should have known that i thought the explorer was probably the closest in terms of genres and style I swear I was going to fix her skin, and I never did. Oops. Or maybe... I don't even remember what she's called. The, the Red Riding Hood girl. Jesus. I've painted so many freaking Kingdom Death ladies. You can kind of see... Sometimes they fit in quite well. But then we have some, like... Whatever her name was from Sedition Wars. Mara Jade. Aura Singh. Kara Jean. <laughs> I don't remember. Lisa Kudra. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know her name. I'm sorry. Let's see what other models. Oh, look at the boxer. She was pretty big, too, when she came out. But I, I think that the White Sun Lion is probably one of the largest at this point. Not that I have an issue with it. I know some people are really picky about that. Not me. Grabbing our silence. Fits in quite well. Pretty nice spread of Kingdom Death history there. Here, I've got the Halloween Twilight Night. The original resin one, I might add, not the plastic one that has sit, sat unfinished for uh, probably at least two years now. Yeah. So I think when you look at them as a whole, I don't think it's a big issue, but... I think if, like, individually, yeah, it's pretty obvious that they're, they're quite large. But I enjoyed them. I love these models, and I don't see myself stopping. Oh, you know what we should do? As I'm rambling on about how much I enjoy these. Grabbing some of the Halloween models. You can see, really, my favorite of the Halloween models. And you probably aren't going to see these again until at least on this channel until Halloween. So 
deal with it because I'm going to get them painted and get them ready in time for Halloween. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool models. And if you dig the look of them, at least since these are in the photo resin and it seems that uh, for the time being, everything is going to end up being in the photo resin. If you've noticed, it's either plastic or photo resin. I have not seen a legit regular resin miniature for some time now. Uh, moving forward, that's probably what we're going to be seeing, at least until things improve in terms of distribution and all that jazz. So yeah, uh, you will be able to find these. If they're not in the store immediately, I'm sure they'll be back in the very near future. So do keep an eye on it. And I know once things improve, we'll probably see that stock rotate in and out a little bit more regularly. And if this looks like something you'd be interested in, do check back. Don't feed the scalpers. They don't need any more encouragement than they already get. So yeah, we'll put a link down below if you've never checked out the Kingdom Death website. You can take a look through all of, well, whatever they got at the moment because that constantly changes and hopefully there is something there that you enjoy. So with that said, this has been High Lord Tamburlaine with Obscurities in Miniature saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.